I believe it's a good agreement uh, because the African continental free trade uh, promote choice and competition. So it is our understanding that anything that promotes free enterprise or free market, it is good for any economy. As you know, choice and competition also uh, allow for uh, improve in quality of services and a reduction of price. So for these two reasons, we believe that you know the African Continental Free Trade Agreement it's a good agreement. There is a study that was conducted by the uh, African Development Bank, another one by the World Bank, and another one by a leading economic consultancy firm in London called Vivid Economics, uh, which clearly shows that uh, Cameroon will benefit from an increase in exportation to other African countries um, of about 13.5% uh, according to Vivid Economics analysis. According to economic theories, uh, normally if there's an increase in export, that means there's an increase in manufacturing in Cameroon. So, and if the, there are more jobs in the industry or in the manufacturing sector, it is good uh, for poverty alleviation because that means more Cameroonian at work. Uh, I, uh, we at the Cavo Policy Institute, we are at the forefront of uh, the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. We have made in-depth analysis of the document. It, uh, it is clear from the agreement that uh, that issue was taken care of. For example, Article 19 of the document clearly says that in case of a sudden increase of product from overseas into the country that are being produced locally, the government might take some restrictive measure in order to preserve uh, the local businesses. So you see, according to Article 19 of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, uh, dumping is being taken care of. Like I said, the agreement, the Article 19 is clear. In case of an increase or a sudden increase on, on a product from overseas into the nation or into the country that is being produced locally, the government might take some restrictive measure to protect the interests of local producers. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we believe it's a good agreement. Uh, the question is not whether or not Cameroon should ratify. Of course Cameroon should ratify because African Continental Free Trade Agreement promotes free enterprise or economic freedom. So uh, on a personal level and also as a policy institute, we are for it. The question is when, when is the appropriate time for Cameroon to ratify it? So we believe that uh, before Cameroon ratified the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, we should make sure to at least uh, modernize our agricultural sector. The reason is because agriculture is the only sector where Cameroon have a comparative advantage compared to other nations. So we believe it will open the borders. Cameroon should or uh, is in good place to benefit from, you know, selling agricultural product to other countries. So we strongly believe that uh, Cameroon should modernize its agricultural sector at the minimum uh, before we sign the agreement, which we believe is a good agreement. And if Cameroon go ahead and sign it as expected this month, uh, we will definitely advise uh, our leaders or our policymakers to take advantage of Article 19 that I just mentioned to you, uh, that may provision in case of dumping, or Article 24, which allow a nation or a government to uh, protect a strategic industry uh, at early development stage. So if you have a strategic industry at early development stage, uh, you can also put in place some restrictive measure to protect it according to Article 24. Uh, the government can also take advantage of Article 28, 
uh, which uh, allow a government to take restrictive measure in case of problem related to the balance of payment. In other words, if the economy is, is very bad, economic conditions are very bad, a government can take some restrictive condition, provided um, it is related to um, poor balance of payment. So you see there are three articles, Article 19, Article 24, Article 28, that Cameroon might take advantage of in case the government go ahead and expect it to ratify this month. Like you know, uh, our stand is that Cameroon should embrace economic freedom over development aid uh, because uh, we strongly believe in the benefits of a free enterprise system like choice and competition, private ownership of property, uh, reduced government, meaning the government should spend less, less public spending, and more investment. The problem with development aid, as we mentioned uh, during our conferences uh, at the Mansal Hotel, uh, development aid has many disadvantages. One of them is interest that the country has to pay. Uh, the second one is the fact that we cannot go against the will or the wishes of our donors, you know, you know, it's, it's difficult to claim full independence in that case. And the, the third, the third uh, uh, disadvantage of development aid is that, you know, um, it's difficult to be accountable because uh, the country borrow, not the individual. So we strongly believe that the country should embrace economic freedom uh, over development aid. And uh, economic freedom and African continental free trade agreement goes hand to hand because, like I said, Africa continental free trade agreement promote choice and competition. Therefore, it's good for uh, our economy. Uh, uh, yeah, so we strongly believe that economic freedom is the way forward. I think that uh, what the, the, the country can do is to consult with experts. I told you we have experts at the CAFO Policy Institute, like Mr. Nasumba Otombanje, Mr. Ulrich de Polakandem, uh, who are, you know, who can advise the government, for example, which how to register a product. Be because even if we sign it, uh, before, before we start selling our product throughout countries, the product needs to be registered. Uh, how do you go about? Where do you go? How do you register the product so that, you know, you can now sell your product across the borders. All these things should be taken into consideration. So that's why I said we need to consult experts. Uh, uh, that will then advise the government on people or business leaders or the JICAM or small business in Cameroon how to take advantage of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. So I strongly believe it's going to be a process. Uh, but that process involves uh, knowing a lot about maybe product registration. Uh, or how to register, where to go, uh, which office and which institute, which organization, and uh, you know, uh, then you can now sell it across the border.